so hello everyone so we are now back with our lecture videos so this is lecture video part two about uh, electric field so we have to continue with our topics about electric field and electric forces now last time we are dealing with uh, discrete charges <clears throat> so meaning uh, charges that can be you know can be this uh that are distinguishable with each other tapos they can be counted from the word discrete now at this point we have to extend our knowledge about electric fields and electric forces uh to continuous charges okay so what on side definition there's a continuous charges so this is our outline so we have to find the electric field produced by a finite line charge tapos meron tayong thin circular disc and a ring of charge the next we will tackle about electric flux and electric field and then the next one the last one will be the gauss's law so first let's start with the definition of continuous charges so if we say continuous charges these are charges that are very close to each other so meaning ang ilang mga ang ilang distance are very larger i mean are very small compared sa ilang uh sa ilang dimension diba so meaning that they cannot be distinguished anymore from each other so that's why we can approximate na yung charges na yun na distributed will be in continuous distribution okay so continuous charges are actually not described or physically not description yeah is like the amount i meaning uh the amount of charging a q good so unlike sa atong discrete charge because we can distinguish the discrete charge from each other so we can uh we can know the property of q1 q2 and q3 but this time wala tayong q1 q2 and q3 but we have to uh, we have to focus on how charges distributed along a volume along a surface or along a line line charge okay so this is actually called the charge density okay so charge density is actually the the uh the no yun, the kanang property of a continuous charge distribution to describe how a charge distributed along its dimension okay so for example meron tayong volume charge density which is denoted by rho then the next one is meron tayong surface charge density denoted by sigma okay and then meron tayong line charge density denoted by a symbol lambda okay so from the word density meaning that yung the number of charges in a specific volume ba for charge uh, for rho or surface for sigma and line for lambda diba so how much charges are there per unit volume so ito yung uh mauni ang formula sa atong volume charge density we have rho is equal to the the amount of charge per volume so how many charges are there per cubic meter in, in standard units ito yung volume charge density now yung surface charge density is how much charges are distributed per meter square so meron tayong formula na q over a so ito and then the line charge density is how much charges are distributed along a line so per unit line or per uh, meter okay so q over length so length ito yung the total uh, the l here is actually the total length of the uh, line charge tapos yung area dito is the total area of the surface charge and v here is actually the total volume uh, of your volume charge now this one actually are uh, constant so kasi sa if we if we go deeper with uh, continuous charge distribution 
the rho, sigma, and lambda are um, dependent on many variables such as time, position ng charges, or position ng field point. So, since it is very like uh, uh, kanang master physics na siya, so we just have to stick with the uh, the constant charge densities. Okay? So, if hindi man specify na na constant yung charge density mo, so uh, kanang sure na gina siya nga constant siya. Okay? So, murag uh, kung ano na siya ka ng mga default na constant siya even though wala siya gi specify or gi explicitly describe sa ato ang problem okay so here we have to uh, we have to ka ng uh, use the knowledge sa atong electric field sa discrete ato siyang i-convert to continuous okay so for a for a discrete na atay e is equal to k q over r squared so this is the electric field produced by a single point charge but here uh, if the charges as you can see here goes to zero meaning the charges are very close to each other diba so we have to take the limit of the charges okay na very close sila sa each other that we cannot distinguish parang kukuha lang tayo ng very small amount of charge in the, in our distribution. Meron tayong volume charge, meron tayong uh, surface charge, at meron tayong line charge. Diba? So, yun yun. So, here, we have to sum all that small na mga charges. So, as you can see here, meron tayong arbitrary nga volume charge density. Ay, volume charge distribution here. Tapos, ito yung field point natin, field point P. So, kukuha tayo ng maliit na gamay lang na charge good sa imuhang volume charge uh, distribution. So, we can call this one as delta Q. Tapos, we have to get the, uh, unsa man ang contribution ni delta Q at point P. So, meaning, kay, since gamay raman siya na charge na delta Q, so, iya pong na-contribute ng electric field delta E, which is away from the charge uh, distribution here. So, kanisha is actually a, a positive nga, na siya positive volume charge density. So, that is why it is away. Okay? So, now, kana naman na siya usa. Part naman siya sa imuhang volume charge density. So, what you're going to do, we have to sum all of the contributions sa imuhang mga uh, sa imuhang volume charge density. So, magkua na po ta, hantud sa iyang makover up tanan so we have to sum all of the contribution of in the individual na mga uh, infinitesimal or delta Q nga charges here nga yang na produce dali at point P. So yang na produce ng electric field at point P. So to do that, in a language of calculus, we know that if we take the limit of the uh, sum here, the summation notation, we will get a, an integral, di ba? So, meaning that the integral of k tapos yung delta qi mo becomes dq over r squared r hat. Okay? So, ang kalainan lang niya sa discrete is kq over r squared. Kani is we are going to use the integral. ba? So, the summation sa discrete tapos integral naman sa continuous. So, dq here is a very infinitesimally small nga amount of charge in a given distribution. It could be like a volume charge, a line charge, or a surface charge. Okay? So, R squared is again the distance between the volume charge or the uh, the DQ here. So, you just have to get the uh, distance between DQ and the field point. Ito yung R natin. Tapos, R hat is depende kung ano yung sign ng charge distribution natin. Kung positive siya, same lang, same lang din sa discrete away from the volume uh, from the charge distribution if negative yung charge density mo it is towards the charge distribu charge distribution okay so usually ito yung ginagamit natin okay so at this point we have to take note that this formulation of electric field is coming from our columns law diba because we have the relationship f is equal to qe so by that we can get the uh, the general expression for your E. So, ito yung tinatawag natin ng columns expression for electric field. So, this is based 
actually on Coulomb's law. Okay? So, sasabihin ko yan kasi uh, if you are going to Gauss's law kasi, we have to formulate another uh, expression for your E. Okay? So, then, itutugma natin kung ano yung advantages at disadvantages ng Gauss's law tsaka ng Coulomb's law formulation of uh, getting the general expression for electric field. Okay? So, yung uh, yung DQ mo here, if uh, we are talking about line charge, we just have to uh, replace DQ as lambda DL. Okay? Meaning that we have to get a very small amount of uh, uh, charge in a line, so that is DL. Tsaka yung lambda mo is constant. As what I've said na yung charge density, we have to take note that as constant. Then your D, if sa surface naman siya, so we have to stick DQ, uh, we have to replace DQ as sigma DA for surface charge. So a small amount of area na, na kukuha ni, uh, kwa o na to sa usaka surface charge distribution. If volume charge naman siya, that is rho dv. But usually kasi, uh, I will not tackle about the volume charge density because if we are talking about uh, Kasi we need to formulate, uh, you know, the uh, taas ng math to, to solve the volume charge. So we just have to stick with line and surface charge density. Okay? So anyway, matatako lang, uh, we will tackle this volume charge distribution sa Gauss's law. Okay? Because it is, a uh, Gauss's law is much easier if uh, to solve electric field using a volume charge. Okay? So, from the source charge here, itong delta Q is actually a very small amount of charge lang which produce a very small amount lang po nga electric field at field point P. Okay, so yun yun lang. Uh, that is actually the essence of this expression here. Okay? So, let's answer this one. So, we have to find the electric field produced by a finite line charge. So, finite meaning that nasay ka ng a specific like ends okay sa imuhang line charge okay so i will just uh so although na nanatay mga kuanda din nanatay kanang nanatay expression diha on answer so i just have to to answer it kung sa unang process okay so <clears throat> So just like what we did sa discrete charge distribution, we have to first draw the like an electric field diagram natin, di ba? So kung meron tayong given na field point, tapos we have to uh, to draw the electric field contribution by the uh, by many charges, okay? By many source charges. So remember, yung source charge natin is actually the uh, the charge distribution here the continuous charge ito na yung source charge natin and the field point is still field point okay so the problem states that a line of charge length a and a total charge of positive q is lying in the x axis as shown with the ori with the origin located at the midpoint of the line charge find the electric field at point p located at 0 B. So meaning yung field point P mo is located along the positive Y axis. So suppose nandito siya. So this is our field point P. Tsaka yung distance niya from the origin is B. So as you can see here sa coordinates niya. So since your line charge is actually lagging in the midpoint of the uh, of the midpoint siya, I mean, yung origin mo is nag-locate nag sa midpoint ng line charge. So, meaning that we have to take note na yung length mo becomes 1 half A tsaka negative 1 half A. Ito yung coordinates ng ends ng uh, ng ano mo, ng line charge. So, meaning the end one is positive 1 half A tapos yung end is negative 1 half A. So, ito yung uh, gibutang na to siya diha as coordinate. Diba? Okay, kasi, <clears throat> diri kay Kano siya? Negative. Negative man yung coordinates. Ito is positive coordinates. So, ano siya? But of course, ang length, total length niya is capital, ay, small letter A. So, na siya total charge nga positive Q. So, it, the total charge of this one is actually positive Q. Okay? So, although uh, wala, wala given nga 
a line charge here, but the line charge is actually equal to lambda lang. Okay? So, positive lambda. Kasi yung total charge is positive, and therefore, yung line charge density niya is still positive. Okay? So, na. So, alam nyo na kung nasan si field point, alam nyo na yung setup ng system nyo. Then, the next step is we have to get a very small amount of charge in a charge distribution. Okay? So, suppose ito yung uh, line charge ay small amount natin, si DQ. Ito yung DQ natin. So, I will just have to draw it again. So, DQ natin is uh, here. Okay, so, I will just have to, you know, So, ito yung DQ natin. So, ito yung P. So, we can let DQ anywhere, okay? Pero gusto ko dito yung DQ natin. So, what that is DQ. Okay, so the distance between the origin tsaka ni field point is B kasi may coordinate siya nga 0, B. Okay? So, usually, pwede din natin ilagay si DQ dito, dito, dito. Pero here, it is, this is actually a, like, a crucial thing. Kasi, Kung dito mo ilalagay si DQ, okay, it is actually the uh, the special case, okay? Kasi here, we are talking about an angle kasi, ang orientation ng E natin. Ito, yung orientation ng E mo is actually just a straight line, di ba? Okay, so ito lang yung marag special case where the E is actually in the straight line. So how about if we are talking about the orientation na angle theta. So, para siyang, ano, para siyang general na. Okay? So, it is better to put DQ here or here other than here. Kasi it's special case lang to where theta is actually 90 degrees. Okay? So, kasi ito siya plus state. Tapos, that is 90 degrees. Diba? So, special case lang siya. So, next, you have to find DE. So, DE is actually starting from... So, the distance between your DQ is actually your R. Tapos yung DE mo, since actually this is positive, so meaning we have to, that is pointing away from the uh, charge, from DQ. So that, that is your DE. Okay, so that is your DE. So now, okay, so let's talk about the angle theta. So, the angle theta here is actually coming from here. So, we can take this one as the orientation of your DE. Say, this is your theta. Okay? Orientation niya ng theta mo. So, if this theta is equal to... Uh, if this angle is equal to theta, then according to geometry, this is also equal to theta. Okay? So, ito na. So, since DE is actually not a straight line lang yun, but oriented at an angle theta, so your EX and EY must, uh, must be like associated with a trigonometric function such as sine theta and cosine theta. Okay, so let's find DE. So, DE is actually equal to DEX I hat plus DEY J hat. So, just like a discrete charge distribution, we can actually uh, put the small contribution of DQ at point P as in terms of unit vectors. So as you can see here, just like, uh, just like the discrete charges. So, we have to get the antiderivative by taking the integral of both sides of the equation so, the antiderivative of DE is actually equal to E. Then, the DE X here. So, we just have to stick with uh, DE X. So, that is E X I hat, the antiderivative. Tapos, E Y J hat. But, your E X is actually equal to the integral of the magnitude okay the magnitude of your e tapos we have here uh, we have here what 
we have here like uh, the is it sine theta or cosine theta so we have to take note of the angle so here the theta is facing the x-axis so meaning this one is actually the the x-axis is actually your sine theta okay and therefore your ey is actually your cosine theta the integral of e tapos we have here cosine theta kasi yung adjacent side niya is actually the y-axis okay i forgot that we have to let the distance between sa origin mo tsaka ni ni arbitrary dq mo as yung chosen dq as x okay so x is actually a variable na nag-change na siya ng variable okay kay lahi-lahi man ang distance ni dq anywhere okay, so we can let that one as x which is uh, a variable aka ah, nang mag-change siya okay so here yeah so let's start with ex so ex is the integral of the e here which is equal to k dq over r squared tapos meron tayong sine theta so since we are talking about line charge we can let your dq as equal to lambda dl okay so lambda dl so replace dq as lambda dl so we have here so can we take k outside so k the integral of lambda dl over r squared sine theta then ex is again equal to so lambda is constant so even though hindi siya explicitly i explain in our problem so we can take that outside the integral so dl over r squared sine theta so now we have to take note kung sino yung r natin at ano yung value ni sine theta so here your sine theta is actually equal to opposite over hypotenuse so si opposite is x pero hypotenuse mo is actually using a pythagorean theorem that is equal to the square root of x squared plus b squared so that is square root of x squared plus b squared okay so ito yung sine theta how about your cosine theta so same lang din your cosine theta is adjacent which is b and your hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus b squared okay so we have to replace sine theta by this expression and your r is of course this one the x squared plus b squared okay but how about your dl now yung dl is one dimension lang siya so meaning that uh, along wa uh, yung yung line charge mo ba is along x yung lang, your yung line charge mo ba is along y or along z but since yung line charge natin is located on the x axis at sabi ko that your x here is actually a variable nga mag-change siya uh, anywhere. So meaning kung dito ka, mag-change din yung x mo, dito ka, mag-change din yung x mo. So therefore, we have to integrate along dx kasi yung x mo is actually the uh, variable that is changing throughout the integration. ba? So we have here k lambda. Tapos yung dl mo is actually dx where we will... Uh, integrate then your r r squared is actually equal to x squared plus b squared kasi meron siyang square tapos sine theta is x the square root of x squared plus b squared so simplifying that is k lambda x dx so hindi natin pwede ma mapagawa si x kay uh, kuan man siya uh, changing variable meaning yung yung derivative kasi natin sa integration yung dx is actually along x so yung x is not constant so x squared plus b squared raised to 3 halves so 3 halves yeah so to integrate this one we have to use the integration by parts so let <clears throat> u so alam yun na yung integration by parts sa calculus so you just have to review that one so x squared plus b squared 
x squared plus tapos du is actually equal to 2x dx therefore yung x dx mo <clears throat> is actually equal to du over 2 so here ex is equal to k lambda so change natin yung x dx mo as du over 2 tapos yung x squared plus b squared as u to the 3 halves Okay, so by the way, hindi pa natin alam yung uh, limits of integration. So, saan tayo mag-integrate? Doon sa, sa line charge. So, meaning, ito, yung line charge natin sa other end is meron siyang negative 1 half A, tapos the other end is positive 1 half A. So, dito lang tayo mag-integrate from negative 1 half A to positive 1 half A. So, what that is, from negative 1 half A to positive 1 half A. So, that is our limits of integration. So, uh, to avoid, like, you know, uh, always changing the variable because you change the variable to u, so we can just let this one as the new lower limit chaka new upper limit. Okay? So, after the changing of variable here, so, imo daman siyang i-substitute si u, after, you know, integration, then you have to balik mo sa original yung mga limits of integration. So, let us see. So, k lambda, so, ang o, 1 half, we can take that outside. Then, u, 1 over u to the 3 halves is actually, yung integration is actually u to the, okay, so, my laptop is bitchy. Oh, sorry. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> so, that is, u to the negative 3 halves plus 1 divided by negative 3 halves plus 1 so integrated by the new lower limit and the new upper limit then we have here k lambda over 2 tapos negative 3 halves plus 1 is actually equal to negative 1 half so we have here u to the negative 1 half then negative 1 half and that is the new lower limit. Tapos meron tayo new upper limit. Then we can uh, cancel out one half here. So what's left is we have here negative k lambda. Kasi may negative pa tayo sa denominator. Then we have to change na the variable. So meaning your u is actually equal to x squared plus b squared. So we can change that one as the square root of x squared plus b squared then the original limits of integration so we have negative one half a tapos meron to yung positive one half a then substitute i mean simplifying the expression so we have here one over the square root of x squared so that is one fourth a squared plus b squared minus the square root of again still one fourth a squared okay so that is wait okay one fourth a squared plus b squared so what is happening so bakit ba zero siya ah okay so uh, so yung ex mo kasi is zero okay so that is zero Okay, so I will tell you the reason why zero sha. Okay, so next let's move on with EY. So here we have the integral of E tapos cosine of theta. So we have here so still the same. Same lang gihapon the limits of integration. 1a positive 1 half a that your e is the same gapon we have k lambda dl tapos yung r squared mo is equal to x squared plus b squared and then yung cosine theta is actually equal to a b over the square root of x squared plus b squared so your dl is dx so we can ato nang dito on ha kay kabalanta 
but your k lambda and b are constant so we can take that outside k lambda b the integral of negative one half a positive one half a then one over the x squared plus b squared raised to three halves and that is the x so we uh the, we will not solve the you know the uh integration good aninia because mawalang essence of physics so that is why i put a table of integrals sa inyong course site i posted the table of integrals so we have here where is it so here so if you have the expression like this one so how to get the integration of this one okay so we just have to look kung ano yung uh, integration niya. that is number 41 so ito yung uh, ito yung ano niya yung uh, equivalent so yung a natin here is actually b dito sa ating uh, expression okay so the so we have to evaluate our expression here so your ey is now equal to k lambda b then we have here ano yung expression so that is actually equal to x so we have here x over yung a natin is b so that is b squared over b squared plus x squared integrated uh, with the negative one half a padulong sa positive one half a okay so evaluate the expression so we have here k lambda b tapos we have x here so positive one half a square root of b squared so can i take b squared outside so the b squared outside then we have here one fourth a squared plus b squared then the negative of the negative maging positive na siya so plus one half a divided by square root of one fourth a squared plus b squared okay so ito yung uh, evaluation expression niya so again further simplifying we have here k lambda b over b squared is actually equal to k lambda over b tapos ito we just have to add uh, same kasi yung denominator niya so that is actually equal to a lang yung numerator so we have a over the square root of one fourth just copy the denominator a squared plus b squared the next uh, further simplifying para maging beautiful yung expression natin so we will get actually this one so we have here the 2kq over b square root of a squared plus b squared okay so we have here a uh, simplifying so we have k lambda over b tapos a so yung four mo is magiging so i will just put four outside the expression so maging one fourth i mean one half kasi the square root of one fourth is one half so the square root of manakai a squared plus four b squared okay so ito yung expression natin the next is we just have to get the reciprocal of one half so that is actually equal to 2k lambda over b tapos a tapos the square root of a squared plus 4b squared okay so ito yung expression niya but since meron uh, given tayo ng total charge so the total charge is actually equal to uh, actually equal to um, positive q tapos meron tayong lambda nga uh, meron tayong line charge density na lambda even though hindi siya given so naging siya line charge density kay line charge man siya okay so by the way yung expression natin is wrong so wala siyang lambda okay so lambda tapos wala siyang 4 dito which is very subtle so 2kq lambda Okay, so 4, I'm so sorry about that. 
So, ay! Okay, I see. Ah, uh, namaw din na wash lambda. Okay, I know na nang wash lambda because... So, I just have to delete that one. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, so sorry. So, my laptop is very hinay na. Kasi too much. So, what's missing here is actually 4 lang. Okay? So, sa sulod sa expression ng ano mo, ng... Okay, so my laptop is <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm sorry about that so that is 2 K lambda that is A over B tapos meron tayong A squared plus B squared 4 B squared okay but here yung lambda natin can be simplified by the total charge Divided by the total length. So, ano yung total charge niya? That is positive Q. And then, yung total length niya is the A. So, we can uh, simplify. Uh, we can substitute lambda here as Q over A. So, what's left is 2 K Q. Tapos, we have here lambda. Okay, meron tayong... I know. Lambda is Q over A. So, the... A here is cancelled out na kasi Q over A siya. Then divided by B, square root of A squared plus 4B squared. So ito yung EY natin, the component along Y. Uh, yeah, along Y axis, okay? So therefore, our electric field vector expression due to this line charge at point P is actually equal to 2kq over b square root of a squared plus 4b squared. So that is in j hat direction. Okay? So yun lang. Now, here, so nga mang zero ang imuhang x. So as you can see sa yung slide, that is actually due to Symmetry. So, what do you mean by symmetry? So, here, nakita natin that your system, nag-set up siya ginani, di ba? So, naasa midpoint ang imong origin. So, meaning na half, equally half yun ang imuhang line charge. So, at point P, ito yun. So, we will let our infinitesimally small nga charge, DQ here. Okay, so that is your DQ1. So, iyang electric field nga gaa na produce is paana diba so that is your DE1 then how about if we get an electric fi uh, a small charge at the other side so that is DQ2 then if you will take na po the uh, contribution of this DQ2 at point P so paana siya so that is DE2 now if tan awo ninyo symmetry means that your DE1 na asay DEY Napud siya'y DEX, di ba? But your DE2, napud siya'y DEY, napud siya'y DEX. So as you can see, makita ni mo nga ang DEX here, due to DQ1 and DQ2 respectively, are in the opposite direction, meaning mag-cancel out lang sila. And since mag-cancel out lang sila, because of the fact na equally half man ang imuhang line charge. Okay, so meaning mag-cancel out lang sila. So, ang imuang EY po, due to symmetry, mag times 2 lang siya. Okay? So, meaning mag add-add lang siya with all the contribution here. Mag uh, always ang imuhang, uh, imuhang contribution along X will cancel out. And always po na imuhang contribution along Y, along y mag add-add po na siya pa dong dito sa taas. Okay? As you can see here, ang imuhang electric field vector due to this line charge is actually in the positive y direction so that is positive gh so ito yung answer natin okay